Gustavo is your boyfriend? Yes, okay. yes. We actually met, met um, Bumble while I was down in Mexico City filming Narcos. Oh, wow. yeah. ¿Qué estabas haciendo allá? Yo estaba ahí, pues vivo en México y estaba terminando de grabar mi, mi segundo disco, que se llama Renacer, y justo coincidimos que ella estaba grabando Narcos al mismo tiempo y era un date así, más o menos a ciegas, nos conocimos y fue explosivamente hermoso. ¿Y qué te gustó de Gustavo? What you like about him? Oh my God. I mean, of course his voice. Uh, his voice, his face, no. <laughs> and he's just so sweet and smart and he's so talented and just, it was just, he's shown me around Mexico City and yeah, it's just everything. Yes, yes. Sure, um, I play Mika Camarena, who uh, is um, uh, Kiki Camarena's wife, and it's based on a true story of the first DEA agent that got sent to foreign soil that was um, tor tor tortured and murdered on foreign soil. So it was a really big case in the 80s, and I'm playing his wife, and she was pregnant when they moved down to Mexico, and like finding him and all that. So it's a really intense um, story. I got to meet the actual woman that I'm playing. She lives down in um, San Diego, and she told yeah, she told me her whole story. We sat together for three hours, and um, it was the most heartbreaking story, but she's so strong, and it just taught me the power of what it is to be a woman, to be a mother, um, and to fight for your family. So, uh, talk to me a little bit about the cast. I know Miguel Angel Silvestre is a narco. Yeah. Um, it's hot, by the way. Yeah, he's very yeah. handsome. Oh, handsome guy is in that show. <laughs> So it was cool, and then Michael Peña is amazing in it, and they have really yeah. great chemistry, and Diego Luna is a really bad, bad yeah. man. So it's really interesting. So it's like the story of these two men that are focused on like opposite goals, and they're both obsessed. You know, one is like catching the bad guy, and the other one's building his empire. And um, and the women in this season are really powerful. You know, um, so yeah, the women are like standing up. Yeah. yeah, it was definitely like when when we rapped, they're like, what do you want? I'm like, a bucket to like throw up in and a bottle of champagne because it was just like s such an intense story to tell. Yeah, yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about your, um, I mean, what was the hardest scene to film or the most emotional? There's a scene at the end where um, I get to see his body after he's tortured in the morgue. And I think that was the hardest scene because Michael, they did the makeup where he was, you know, beaten up and bruised and like, it was funny because during the rehearsal, the director was like, don't cry yet, don't cry, like save it. And I'm like, it's just because building that story for eight months and living there and like going through that, of what she went through um, was really intense and heartbreaking and just showed me like really when you, how much when you love someone, how much it matters and how much your family matters and what to do to get, to go through it, you know? And Alyssa is so professional that when she would be filming, she'd be like, I can't see you today because you make me too happy. I need to be in this dark space. And she's, she's so dedicated to her craft and to telling the story the right way. So for me, it was really refreshing to have another artist to like really get inspired by. It's a beautiful time to be a woman right now. Um, what are your, how, how, what is it like to, to walk into set and feel that energy? Because I know that there's an energy shift right now happening in this, in, you know, with the casting right now there's more women behind the cameras what's that like it's amazing um, I'm currently filming the rookie on ABC we have all uh, female camera women you know a female DP um, female writers female directors from all backgrounds um, and then I got to do a ride-along with a sergeant down in South Central who's like this beautiful woman and she has like her lip gloss and her Jackie O sunglasses but is like a badass woman and is strong and is also doing stuff for the community doing outreach you know so it's just really inspiring that the power of, of what it is to be a woman and what we can you know provide because we have this nurturing quality but um, a lot of strength as well Yeah. ¿Puedes contar qué sucede detrás de cámara eh, con todo el elenco, las cosas divertidas? Porque también la gente quiere saber lo que ustedes cómo se llevan como, como amistad, como la amistad que, que existe. Yeah, um, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, oh, okay. I know, I'm correct. So what happens behind the scenes? You know, we want to know the fun stuff that goes on as well. Uh, you know? Which, uh, in just in general? Yeah, or? In general like, I, I want to know about Miguel Ángel Silvestre, Diego Luna. Yeah. Uh, who are they? Oh my God, they're the nicest men. Miguel is super funny, right? They're super funny, they're super playful, and the, the sweetest men, and, and it's about like telling the story, so there's a lot of excitement, but it's also so much about the work, which is what makes it refreshing. It's, 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 it's like filming a long movie, 
you know, the filmmaking, the art, honoring the art, the costumes. I got to wear all this cool 80s vintage clothes. I'm like, Mom, remember this? I was like calling my mom and she goes, I used to wear those jeans. So that was really cool. And just actually being in Mexico City and being Guadalajara, like these cities where these events actually happen was also really um, powerful for me as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.